Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just joking and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building a 1965 Ford GT40 from Fast 5. So to create this car we are going to be using this bullet very obviously because it is identical to a Ford GT. In my opinion it is very very close to what a Ford GT looks like in real life. Obviously there are some glaring issues but uh, we're going to try and see past those and um, do the best with what we've got. One of the big problems with this build is going to be the double racing stripe going the whole length of the car. We cannot get that on this unfortunately, but we will be able to get the white stripe going along the side of the car, which is something I suppose. But unfortunately we're not going to get the double racing stripes, but we'll just have to see past that and get on regardless. So without any further ado guys, let's crack on with this build with 100% body armor as always. Then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes. For the engine, we are going to get the level 4 engine upgrade. Now, as you can see so far, there isn't much customization to this car. It's very, very basic. And uh, you can see we've only got 12 categories all together, which is kind of crazy because this is one of the original cars. You know, I, I think this was an original car in the game. And you can see by there only being 12 categories of customization that how far custom car customization has come, come along in GTA 5 and GTA Online. It is insane really when you think about it like that but nevertheless let's crack on we are going to go to the lights next and purchase the xeon headlights then we're going to go to the respray we're going to go primary color we're going to go metallic for this bad boy and we're going to go with this nautical blue i think that looks awesome for the secondary color we're also going to go into metallic but this time we're going to grab frost white no yeah frost white we're going to go frost white with this one and there is that stripe along the side that I promised you in the beginning. Uh, suspension, we're going to go with a competition suspension. It doesn't really drop it all that much, to be fair. So I'm quite happy to go competition suspension. Transmission, we're going to get the race transmission and obviously the turbo tuner. So the next option we've got is the wheels. The wheels is going to be the most difficult part of this build, in my opinion. Uh, because when you go into wheel type, the wheels on the GT40 from Fast 5 a very unique look and they've got like a spindle kind of thing around the hub which is really hard to explain but I'll quickly show you what I mean on the low rider wheels. Uh, it's this piece here where it kind of sits off the hub with the three spokes sticking out that has something similar to that on these wheels but behind that there is six spokes and there's nothing like what we've got with this wired. Unfortunately there's nothing else in the low rider category that we can use for this um, so we are just going to have to bite the bullet <laughs> excuse the pun that was completely by mistake we're going to have to bite the bullet and just go with a six spoke and just forget about the hub spindle so with that being said I am going to go into the tuna category because this uh, GT40 does have big chunky tyres with a smaller inch rim inside them tyres so I'm going to go in the tuna category and I'm going to go with these chicane wheels they are six spoke, they don't have the hub spindle unfortunately, but they're obviously more six spokes that you can choose from. You could go with these ones if you if you don't like the chicane, they're very very similar, but they need to be six spoke and they need to be like a deep dish for this to work. That's This is the best compromise that I can find. So I'm going to go with the chicane ones, but like I said man, there's plenty of other deep dish six, bit, six spoke wheels that you can choose from. So if you don't like these ones, go and grab the others. And once you purchase them, you can keep them in the alloy colour. If you can afford it, I suppose you could get them in chrome. They'd look a little bit nicer, but I don't think it's essential. Um, alloy is perfectly fine, because I'm pretty sure they are just alloy in the movie. And chrome will look a little bit flash, but to make them that look a little bit nicer, you could grab them in chrome if you really, really want to. And to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tin. So there you go my dudes, as you pull out of LS Customs, this is the 1965 Ford GT40 from Fast 5. And like I've already said, we have used the bullet for this because this is pretty much perfect. I cannot really pick any holes in this um, build whatsoever other than the fact that we cannot get the double racing stripe across the length of the car. Across the hood, across the, the um, roof and also the back end as well. That's the biggest downfall to this. But the customization on this build is very, very limited. You, you don't get to choose a spoiler, a bumper, or 
anything like that, not even a hood option, man. So it's very, very limited in the customization that you can do to it, but we don't really need to do much to it anyways. As long as we can change the color, we've got that cool white stripe across the side of the car, which is obviously what we need. So I'm glad we can get that. Um, but yeah, like I said already, it's the double racing stripe, which lets this build down the, the most, in my opinion. And also the wheels aren't perfect, but I'm 99% sure we can't get anything better than what I've chosen and uh, this is just my creation this is my idea this is um, my opinion on what looks best for this build so if you disagree with anything that's all good man Let it, leave it in the comments below and uh, if I see any of it I'll answer it back if you've got any builds you would like me to create also leave that in the comments down below as well and if I see them and I like the idea then I'll probably make it in a future video but with that being said guys that is going to be the end of this one a very short video pretty simple build i hope you enjoyed this one if you did make sure you leave a like and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and until next time i'm out adios